And now we return to the continuing saga of the hard-boiled and shop-worn private eye, Abe Diamond. It was around dusk in the town of fractured dreams and disillusioned memories. The carbon monoxidated haze that passed itself off as wispy clouds were illuminated in imperial violet by the rays of the setting sun. Ordinarily, the weekend would have proven a gift, but business was slow. It was so slow that my dead grandmother could have raced it to the men's room and won. And why, may you ask, would my dead grandmother be running to the men's room? Well, that's another story, for another time. Anyhow, business was slow. I had half a mind to take the Fox Network up on their offer to turn my whole sordid life into a reality show. The only reason I even considered it was because my bank account was trying to crawl under a duck. So as I calculated the price of my soul, a black pool opened up at my feet. I traced the line of that pool to its source. And there she was, silhouetted by the light in the hallway. Her silhouette reminded me of the soft, warm places that women keep hidden. I pretended not to notice her as I slumped into my creaky wooden chair and caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror. I needed a shower, a shave, a drink, and a new face. I grabbed the closest thing to me and flung it at the mirror. Seven more years of bad luck. See that? You see what I did? See what? I liked her already. You married? Yeah. Too bad. For you or for me? For one of us, anyway. Turn on the light, Mr. Diamond. It's right next to you. It'd be easier for you to turn it on. So you think. Be a doll, won't you? What could I do? We couldn't sit there in the shadows all night. Besides, the sun was going down, turning the gray into a darker gray, and eventually we'd be shrouded in darkness. So before that happened, I made my way to where she was standing and coolly turned on the light. I calmly took my hand back and looked into her sadly angelic eyes. In that moment, business wasn't the only thing that was looking up. You're lucky that I need your help, Mr. Diamond. I don't usually let men become so familiar until after a few drinks. Would you like a drink? I'd love a drink, Mr. Diamond. Whiskey, all right. Nothing less. A woman after my own liver. <laughs> 